What is up, everybody? It is me again, um, making a, another photo editing video. Um, this photo here is from a local area here in Springdale. It's actually a little bit down the road. Um, but it's this beautiful, magnificent red rock face on this kind of interesting, cloudy day. Um, so let's just dive right in. I'm going to go ahead and start with my composition. Um, I think I'm definitely going to just try and make this wider to kind of play upon how striking this rock feature is. Um, I definitely do like the, the blue clouds and our grass here, so I don't want to go too crazy and make it just the rock. I like having all of this to kind of frame this right here. So I think something like that is going to work well. Cool. Let's go ahead and get our white balance done. Nice. I think this is pretty close. I think it's a little warm. Um, it's probably true, but I think a more a little just tone it down is probably going to make me feel a little bit better. Um, so I just knocked it down just a little bit. Um, this is all shadowed right here, down here, and then we have a lot of different shadows streaking up here. So I think I'm going to play around more with the shadows in the adjustment brush. Um, so I don't want to generally, I don't want to mess with the exposure too much. Um, because I think I'm just going to dive in with the adjustment brush to kind of get a more specific look. This is one of the downsides of the lens I'm using is this is not super crisp. Um, I'm using a 50 millimeter prime and I'm kind of, not getting a lot of this detail, so I'm gonna increase the contrast on this and I will definitely increase the sharpness as well. So I want these this rock here to stand out. Once again, I'm not gonna, don't think I'm gonna go too crazy with the overall highlights and shadows and whatnot here because I think we can get a look a uh, little bit more custom tailored with the adjustment brush. So I'm just going through the settings. I do want to play and highlight the these shadows along the wall here. All right, going through. Going to be careful with the vibrance and saturation. Um, I don't want this to look not. I don't want this to look fake. Going to continue messing. The basic light settings and the tone curve. Cool. Kind of boost that. Let's see how much noise there is here. We definitely have a little bit of noise. Let's see what happens when we enable noise reduction. Cool. I think it's helping a little bit. Profile corrections, for some reason it's not picking up my lens here, it's okay. Nice. And then let's just go ahead and see what dehaze does. I think a little bit of dehaze is, is nice. Cool. All right, so let's... Honestly, I'm not going to mess with anything else. I just want to go right into the adjustment brush. I think first I'm going to play with the grass down here. Okay. <clears throat> I've got the grass painted. I can look at it here. My computer's starting to make a lot more noise as it's trying to handle what's going on. Let's start with the exposure. Let's see what happens there. So that's, I do like what it did overall, but it is still, I think, a little too bright. So let's drop that, oh, wow. <laughs> let's go ahead and drop that down to 0.3. Cool, I think that actually looks pretty nice. Um, increase our highlights, decrease our shadows. Saturation. 
the reason I'm doing it this way is because I want to mess with all this without having to mess with all the colors that are going on everywhere else. Nice. I think that looks really good. Cool. Let's go ahead and get a new brush going. This one I'm going to go ahead and paint a rock face. Okay, everybody. Um, unfortunately, my laptop is sounding like a jet engine taking off because uh, it's just processing a lot with the recording and the and everything else. But hopefully, it'll quiet down in a second. So I've went ahead and I've painted the wall here. Um, we can take a go and look at what I've done. So let's just see what happens when we start to play with some of this. I'm trying to bring out like the red brick, you know. So I think that's a little too high. I think I'm gonna increase some dehaze. Excuse me. Maybe boost the exposure a little bit. Okay. Um, I think increase the highlights a little bit. And I think I'm even going to add a little bit of red. Yeah, that's pretty extreme. So let's dial that down a significant amount. I think even more. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more red. I think that even might still be too much. Let's see. Cool, I think 20-ish looks pretty good. So I'm pretty pleased with that, and now I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint the sky. Um, let's see if just adjusting the blues we can get what we want. I think a little bit more of that dreamy teal sky blue can look pretty good for what we're doing today. So I'm going to go ahead and try and bring that out a little bit. Might be a little too much. Let's see what happens when we mess with our luminance. Nice. Cool. I think this looks really, really, really good. Um, that's a nice thing with this, just there's really no, nothing else that's blue here. We can go ahead and just mess with this. Awesome. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at our before and after. We brought out the red brick. This grass looks more alive than a dead gray. And we just have a little bit more of a pretty looking sky that helps all this feature. And we went ahead and kind of boosted our shadows down here. All in all, I think it's a, a good edit and I hope you enjoyed and uh, keep on the lookout for some more episodes. Have a good day. Bye-bye.